Terry from Fiberscope.net. Uh, today we're going to look at our Micron uh, Microflexible Video Scope. So this is going to be a 1.9 millimeter diameter super thin flexible video boroscope. It actually has a small video camera chip right in the tip and it's got a very short circuit base. So basically the tip is going to be very flexible as is the rest of the probe. So you can actually get this into a lot of areas and it will give you a lot better image than a fiber scope. Um, when you get the unit, there's going to be the video processor, the USB cable that will go to a computer or laptop, and then the light post. We usually include our Spark XTR. Um, this unit will let you turn the light up and down, so if you're getting a reflection off of a metal part or something like that, you can decrease the illumination of the scope, and that will give you a little bit better view on the screen itself. Um, as we turn this on, you can see at the tip, the light will come out, so you'll have direct transfer of the light all the way out the tip, and then if you need, you can turn the light up or you can turn the light down as you're using it. So this will help for certain applications. Um, once you have the unit plugged in, um, you'll install the driver and the viewer software. So if we connect this and then open up the viewer program, you'll see the live image will be on the screen. You can increase this to 200%. It'll make the image that you see on the screen a lot better. And uh, if I just show you here, you're looking at something like this. So with the software program, a couple things to go over. Still capture and video capture will be at the bottom of the screen here. Or there's capture buttons, so you can use up here if you want. When you capture an image, it's going to offer um, a pop-up window that will ask you where you want to save it. Easiest thing to do would be to save on desktop or your download file and then you can name whatever you're doing. So if you have a certain job that you're inspecting, you can name that. You can put a date so you can find the files, um, stuff like that. Um, same with video. If you go to capture video, it'll ask if you want to start. It'll ask you to name the file and then you can start recording after that. Um, if you're noticing the image is a little bit different than what you were looking for, so on here you might notice that the image is a little bit on the green side. You want to go to exposure and gain control, scroll down to color control, and you can actually adjust it on here. So you can take it a bit more into the red and the blue and just try to get it a little bit closer to natural. So if you look at the paper, you'll see it's a bit more on the white side. A um, little bit warmer of the image, same on the metal part. Um, if we do light increase, you can see same one here. It'll be a little bit more to the red side. Um, and then again, you can adjust this, so knock that back a bit. Um, or you can go straight into the color and, and it totally adjust it if you wanted to. So. You can play around with that a little bit to get what you're looking at. Um, something like this would be a little bit closer to what you want. And then uh, again, when you're looking at metal parts, you'll notice that the image quality on a video scope is going to be a lot clearer than something you would see, say, on a fiber scope where you've got the pixels in your image.